The elephants were truly amazing and we got to see a, a lot of interesting things that elephants do that nobody knew until our guides pointed them out to us and, and it was great. I don't think anybody really realizes how big elephants are until you get right up to them and, and the one thing that's been a really surprise on this is at what close proximity you do get to the wild animals. It's not like looking at them through a telescope or something. Fantastic. A National Geographic moment. I just felt really excited and blessed and just how cool was this to be so close to nature that um, I could be there and almost reach out and touch. It was so great to see it through my lens and not through some photographer's lens that I would see on television. So I got to see everything that was just fabulous. The Maasai are tall, elegant people. And then with their brilliant cloths, I mean, it's just exotic to the max, I guess. But what I really remember are the rhythms uh, of their vocalization as the women chanted and the men chanted and it was like a call and response but I really love that. <laughs> Ah, that was a lot of fun. We got to go in and dance with the Maasai. That, that was really a highlight that day to be able to go out with the Maasai, but to see how they actually live in their environment and see their mud huts and be able to go inside of their huts and see how they live. Uh, they had constructed a small school for their kindergarten kids. It was extremely interesting. We're fortunate, we only have 17 people in the group, which makes it really nice, because it's not long before you feel like you're traveling with all friends, old friends. We've really enjoyed the companionship of the people that we've met on this trip. It's added a real different dimension because everybody brings different experiences to it. And the itinerary and what we've seen, it's, like I said, exceeded everything we possibly thought we'd see. Going down to see where Leakey's work was done, and to find, I never thought when I was studying in school that I'd ever have that opportunity to go back two million years in our common shared history. And it was just, it was a wow. Yeah, you, you, another way to say it. The crater itself is a separate ecosystem where all of these animals and birds ex exist together and they don't leave the crater. You know, you, you almost start taking it for granted because it's so big and you see so much. There's zebras and zebras and zebras and wildebeest everywhere. Two more rhinos. Yeah, we saw two, that's the third one. And pretty soon <laughs> you feel so at home and so used to it. But then you have to wake yourself up and, and realize you're in the middle of Africa and it's just amazing. It keeps getting better every day. You know, I thought yesterday was good or the day before was better. Yeah, but oh, but each day out. gets better. When migrating, they followed the Nile River coming down. Oh. Yes. Hody has been absolutely fantastic. 
Washington. He has really done a great job of coordinating and explaining everything that we're doing and every place that we're going. He speaks eight languages, so he can converse with anybody no matter where we go. There is not an animal, bird, uh, flora or fauna in Africa that I think he doesn't know about. And so when we were at the hippo pool, he was able to um, call the hippos. And they would come up and yawn, and they were, there seemed to be a call and response with, with Hote. That was very wild Africa, I think. Well, we uh, found a couple of cheetahs that were laying, taking a little siesta, and uh, one got up and jumped on the hood of the vehicle right behind us, so I stood up and looked his way, took his picture, and then he turned and looked at me, and he started coming toward our vehicle, and at that moment, I uh, went back down inside. <laughs> this is certainly the closest I've ever been to a wild cheetah. One of the most impressive things was in the uh, animal migration. And not only did we see it, we participated in it. I mean, we were in the middle of it, and that's the first time I ever really understood the expression, animals as far as the eye could see. That was truly the case. 360 degrees around as far as you could see. I mean, it was just magnificent. That was really impressive. We were trying to think of an adjective. They don't make it. The only thing we could come up with was, wow. <laughs> oh, there goes the, are you seeing it walking on the oh, other side? On the other side. Walking. Right yes. down the road. The value of the trip is, is superb. I mean, we've had first-class guides, accommodations. Serena has done a fabulous job with the lodges and the service. The food has been outstanding. In a second, I, I would take the image uh, as, as a place to take another trip. It exceeded our expectations, and we would take another advantage tour. Absolutely. One, two, three. Wow! <laughs>